Hi guys, if you are new here, my name is Callie. This video, I thought I would make my own little whiteboard with epoxy and just kind of do a bunch of crystals and make it look like a geode. So I'm gonna go through the process of doing this, everything that I did to create this little geode whiteboard. I just think it turned out so pretty with the little crystallies on it. Of course, why not make things more sparkly and glam? Yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing how I did my DIY whiteboard, then let's get into the video. So starting with my tray, this was just like a little cute thing that I got at Ross. It was only $6.99, which I was originally going to do just like a normal epoxy tray, but then I thought I would do the whiteboard instead. So I am just painting the edges. This is rust -Oleum Metallic. It doesn't say on the front, but this is rose gold. So just spraying and covering the wood color. And I think I did end up doing two coats of this. So then once that's done, I am using the DIY, epoxy, DIY Artisan Epoxy mixed with some of the white pigment paste just to coat the bottom. I needed to mix up a little bit more. I didn't have enough on there. And then along the edges, you could tape it off so it's easier, but I just kind of went around with my finger or um, a popsicle stick and just kind of pushed it into the edges. And this did take me a little while, so maybe taping it would have been a lot easier. I just didn't want to deal with taping and then possibly peeling off any of the spray paint. But if you let the spray paint dry long enough, it should, be, it should be fine. So then just making sure I spread it out evenly on the whole thing. And then also you're gonna want to do a second coat of clear epoxy and make sure it's fully cured. I didn't do this the first time and it made the whiteboard a little bit harder to wipe off, which I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal, but if you want it to just wipe off like a normal whiteboard, do a second coat of just clear epoxy and that will give you that just easy wipe off surface. So next I'm going in, I just kind of drizzle on a little bit of epoxy. I'm doing like the little geode rocks just in the corner. So laying down some of these rocks, I'll have everything linked down below what I can find. These are just kind of bigger frosted glass. Then I'm taking some of these kind of crushed glass. They have like a mirror finish on one side almost, so they're a little bit sparkly. And just kind of sprinkling them in there. These are actually little beads that I found at Walmart. They just kind of have this really pretty iridescent like shine to them. And when I put them on, you couldn't really tell that they were beads. So I thought they were really fun to just kind of add in, add a little more sparkle. Then taking these pink 
uh, just kind of rock vase filler. I think I got these at the Dollar Tree. Uh, I bought a bunch of different colors of them. So I think they looked really nice with the um, rose gold. So like if you were doing like a different color, like if you did gold on the edge, you could do gold rocks or, you know, just different colors. But I thought these like light pink ones just looked really cute with the rose gold paint. I'm just drizzling more epoxy on so that all of these little rocks will stick on there I don't want to like flood the whole thing and have them be like under epoxy but I like to just drizzle it on and that way everything kind of gets stuck and held in there but you still have that cool like rocky chunky look So then it started dripping out, which I knew would happen. I was just kind of didn't really tip it up yet. But so I tip it up and propped it up with just some things that I had sitting around just so the epoxy stays in that corner and doesn't just kind of like drip out all over the rest of the board. going back in and adding some more rocks and beads and stuff until I'm happy with how it looks. So then once that's dry, at least 16 eight hours later, six to eight, you can see only one little tiny rock fell off because I drizzled so much on there and they all kind of just stuck in there. So that's exactly what we want. Then we're just gonna repeat the process on the bottom. And I did a little bit skinnier, uh, longer side instead of matching the top, which you could do whatever you want, but I just kind of wanted to do uh, a little bit different on the other side. Once that's dry, you have your finished whiteboard. Right, that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and also ring the little notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Like, I love anything epoxy. I just keep thinking of new ideas. I have a lot of great videos coming that I'm working on, but let me know, like, are you more into just tumblers? Are you more into just 
anything like let me know what your favorite thing is for epoxy or if there's any like certain techniques or types of epoxy that you want to learn more about and i will be sure to film those for you guys again thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next one bye